What's going on guys, Sean Gutierrez back with another video. In today's video guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to custom paint a clipper lid of your choice. Guys, this will work with any plastic clipper lid. Somebody asked me to do this on the Gamma Plus. I don't have those anymore, so I'm gonna show you on the Senior. This will apply for any clipper lid that's plastic. And guys, make sure you stay tuned till the end. I am gonna give this away. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so I'm going to go over what I'm going to use today to paint my clipper. And guys, most of this is interchangeable. I'm going to touch on some of the things that are very important when you're painting these. Some parts that have to do with the durability of your paint job. But most of this stuff you can do different colors, different spray paints, different paints. And I'll, I'll go over that when we get to it. But anyways guys, we got some sandpaper. We want to use 400. Guys, you never want to paint over anything rougher than 400 or you'll see the lines. So we got some sandpaper. We got some gloves and you'll see when we use those. We're going to do the base satin black and this is also a primer and paint so it's going to help to seal those scratches and everything that we do when we sand it we got two acrylic different uh color these are just like kids acrylic paints and you'll see what we're going to do with those and then to finish it off guys we got some gloss clear you guys can do matte clear you can do uh, sparkly clear whatever you guys want to do uh, and i'll touch on the importance of each part when we get there but anyways let's get into it all right so guys at the bottom of the senior clip you guys know there's this clear piece for the led to shine through so if you look on the inside there's two prongs we just squeeze those together and take the clip piece out all right guys so there's going to be two parts that are most important when we do this the first part is going to be the prep and that's going to be sanding this down and getting it ready to paint and the second part is the finish which is the clear coat on top if you do both of those right, you're going to get a real durable finish on your clippers. I've heard people talk about using plastic dip before, guys, which is a peelable plastic coating. You guys can do that. Just keep in mind, it is made to come off. Uh, and having these clippers in your hand all day, you guys are going to wear that down. So what I'm going to do is going to be the most durable. We're just going to prep it really well. We're going to paint it, and we're going to make sure that we have plenty of clear coat on it. But first off, we're going to get it in the sink and start wet sanding. Now, like I said before, guys, the one of the most important parts is the prep work. So we're going to use 400 grit sandpaper. We're going to use some water, a little bit of Dawn soap, and we're going to get on here and sand it. And the Dawn soap is going to help clean it as we sand it. We don't want any clipper oil, cool care, anything like that can that can leave contaminants on this that the paint won't stick to. So we're going to use a little bit of soap, some water, and this 400 grit. And we're just going to sand it all over uh, until it's nice and smooth uh, before we paint. All right, so we got them both sanded, and you guys should see. A really dry, roughed up version like that. If you guys can see spots I didn't get as well. We're gonna go hit that one more time before we start painting. All right guys, so we got it all prepped. One thing I noticed as I was sanding is I could feel the Wall 5 Star Senior logo. So I made sure I hit that real well uh, the second time I sanded it. And you guys, this is so important because if the plastic isn't prepped correctly and you paint, the paint won't stick and that's gonna create problems as quick as possible. So if you spend twice the amount of time prepping these, as you do painting them, that's good. That's what I always say. It's kind of like measure twice, cut once. Uh, the prep is most important when you're doing paint like this. So if you guys just spray paint it as is, it's not going to stick. Uh, you're going to have more problems. So we got them all prepped. Let's set up a little workspace that we're going to paint on and uh, we'll get to paint. All right, guys. So we're going to do two different color schemes. So I've taken two plastic buckets. We're just going to set our clipper lid on there. I put some Walmart bags over top so I didn't paint the buckets. Uh, we're going to do two different color schemes, so we're going to have them separate. I'm just going to set them. You know, we need to make sure that we spray this bottom piece, so we want to make sure that that's elevated enough to get to. Now we can paint the whole thing. Now we have them prepped, they're set up. We're going to start with our first coat of our base coat, which is going to be a satin black. And guys, it's very important when you paint something like this, you guys want to spray the edges and the hard to get areas first. And the reason that is, is if you do a nice full coat on the flat areas, and then you try to get into the fine areas, uh, you'll spray so much extra paint on that flat area that it'll be too wet and you can get run. So what we're going to do, we're going to start, we're going to spray the edges and then we'll do our last coat over the top and most of the edges will overspray onto the top and it'll almost be covered uh, just when we're finishing the edges. So we're going to start with the edges, we're going to paint the top, we're going to do one light coat at first. We just want to get some paint on there so the paint has something to stick to. When we do the second and third coat, we'll do it a lot wetter. And also guys, another tip while you're spraying, I should have said it before, but you never want the can sitting still when you squeeze the trigger. So what you want to do is continuous motion side to side, 
and you should start your spray as you're moving. So you should go. You don't want to start spraying and move. You're going to get a really big wet spot. So make sure you guys are staying moving and just dust it on the spots that you want to hit. But let's get into it. first coat when we do our second coat we want to do it while the paint is still sticky but not as wet as it is right now so we're gonna let it dry about 15 minutes that's called flash time we'll come out and put a second coat a little bit wetter you guys can see that covered really well that's that primer that's in with the paint but anyways guys give it 15 minutes and we'll get back for round two All right guys, that was round two. Uh, it covered pretty well, so I'm gonna come out after this dries and see. Uh, if it looks like it covered good enough, we're gonna go on to the next step, and if not, we'll add a third round. Uh, but we'll check it in 15 more minutes, and we'll move on to the next part. All right guys, so I went ahead and sprayed a third coat on. You can still see the wall senior thing. Even though it felt smooth with the paint on it, you can still see it. Now once we do what I'm about to do, you won't see it as well, but I went ahead and did a third coat. We're gonna give that another 15 minutes to dry and then we'll move on to the next part. But I'm gonna go ahead and explain it to you guys now. So, all right guys, so I've already re-edited the video. My first attempt, I was gonna use this 245 green and white. Uh, and if you guys can see, this is glitter paint. So I've already done that one. The glitter paint did not splatter like it's supposed to. Uh, so we're gonna throw this one out. We're only gonna have one today, guys. I was gonna do two. I kind of chopped the video. Sometimes it says two. So anyways, we're gonna get started on the other one. This paint doesn't have any metallic in it, any glitter in it, so it should work better. And guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a glove, Put our glove on, dip our fingers down in the paint, and we're just gonna flick it like this and get splatters all over. Now, as you guys flick, you wanna go around the clipper, otherwise all your, you know, when you fling it, it's gonna go across it, and you're gonna have all these strokes in the same direction. So if that's what you want, then that's one way to do it. I'm gonna walk around continuously and get it going all different directions with multiple colors, and that's gonna be our finished look. So let's get right into that. I'm gonna do the neon green on this one. All right, you can see that turned out way better than the other one. We'll let that dry for a little bit, we'll come back and we'll do another color. All right guys, we're gonna do this fluorescent purple next. We're just gonna mess with this one because the other one is not working out. This paint's way different because it doesn't have the glitter in it. You can see, just get a little bit on your fingers. You guys can see the end result. All right guys, so last but not least, we're gonna do blue. Uh, honestly, this is the last glove that I have since the other clipper didn't work out. So we're gonna do three colors and then we'll clear coat this thing. You guys see, we just want nice, even coverage. Got it all mixed in in there. Let that dry and we'll move on. All right guys, so I just checked it out. You guys can see, it turned out pretty dope so far. Uh, and guys, what you wanna look at at this point, depending on the paint that you use and how thick it is, sometimes when you flick, you'll get some really heavy spots uh, and those will actually be raised on the surface. So what I'm checking right now is how flat that is, how smooth it is. Uh, and with this paint, luckily it's good to go. So I'm gonna just clear coat on top of this. Um, but if you guys have a lot of ridges on there, what you want to do is use a much finer sandpaper, like an 800, 1000, 1200. Uh, those are going to be really fine. And you're just going to lightly wet sand that until that's a little more smooth. You don't want to really be able to feel all those ridges. Um, so you'll just lightly wet sand that, let that dry, and clear coat it thin. 
luckily for us, ours is already flat, so we're gonna go ahead and clear coat it now, uh, and then you guys can check out the end. All right, guys, now we're gonna do the clear coat. You guys see, it's a gloss clear. If you guys see what I did, I actually set the cover up on those paint cups. Uh, that way I can get, when I paint this edge down here, it's not gonna stick to the plastic. When I pull that off, a lot of the black will stuck to this plastic. Uh, so now it's raised up, we can get underneath it, uh, and now we'll clear coat it. So same steps as before, guys. We're gonna do our edges first, and then we will do the top. We're gonna start with a light coat to get it sticky, and then we'll do a little bit wetter our, our next two or three more coats until we have a nice finish on it. See, that's looking crazy already. All right, guys, we'll let that dry and then we'll take it and put it on tomorrow. You guys can check it out. All right, guys, it's been a couple days. Let's throw this clipper lid on and see what we got. All right guys, so that's it. That's my custom clipper painting techniques. You know what guys, I'm kind of digging it. I think I'm just gonna keep it for myself. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. Of course I'm gonna do the giveaway guys. Comment down below, custom clipper cover, and I'm gonna pick one winner from the comments down below. Guys, you have to be subscribed. You have to like this video and comment custom clipper cover, and I'm gonna pick one of you guys to win this pretty sweet custom splatter paint clipper cover. So make sure you guys comment, make sure you subscribe and like this video, and I'm gonna give it away to one of you. Before I close out the video, I want to tell you guys, I appreciate all you guys so much that watch my videos. As I'm recording this, I should be hitting 3,000 subscribers. Guys, I never really, you know, I knew that was possible, but when I made the goals to myself to make a YouTube channel, you know, 1,000 was the number I was looking at. So to hit 3,000, I'm super stoked. I do want to tell you guys though, some of you already know, at 5,000 subscribers, we're going to give away a 245 power map. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on that bell notifications. That way, guys, when we get close to 5K, you guys can all have a chance to win a 245 Power Mat. I know that's a dope product that a lot of you guys would love to have, and uh, I'm going to give one away. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You guys know how much all these things help the channel grow. Like I said, we just hit three. My next goal is five, so we're not going to talk about it again until we hit 5,000 subscribers, and we'll give away that Power Mat. So anyways, guys, leave me a comment down below if you like the Clipper cover. Remember, comment, custom Clipper cover. You guys want to win this anyway guys thanks so much for watching stay tuned for some more dope content you already know and we'll catch you guys next time you guys aren't subscribed to my channel make sure you click this link right here if you want to check out some more content from me check out this video right here appreciate it